I think the, the Brits should be on the same team. Well, I mean, I'm not very good at video games. So right, neither am I. But sometimes luck is what wins. And stupidity. Didn't the British win the last war against the Americans? Oh, no, wait. Was... No. Oh, we won. <laughs> yeah, sorry. America won. That was right, yeah. We win every war. Do you not that's know that? That's not... Um... I never actually learned that in history. No, that's yeah, what I was just about to say. It. Surprisingly, I was <laughs> never taught about... I was learning about Henry VIII and stuff. Yeah, I was a proper actual adult before I realised... Me too. ...what the Revolutionary War was. <laughs> and I was like, what? Yeah. Why didn't they tell us? Don't... Well, don't lose it. America. Look how good it is. <laughs> Keep America, for God's sake. <laughs> Look how good it was. Put a bit of effort in. All right, I'm a Jeff then. This is all part of the video. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, let's kick it off then. All right. Okay, I'm ready. Gavin, you, you kick us off, buddy. Hello there. I'm here with Jeff and <laughs> Bruce. Hello. And fucking, how long have you been doing this for a living? <laughs> Hello there. And we got James Buckley, what uh, Jeff and I watched on In Between Us. <laughs> what we watched on In Between Us. And uh, pop star movie, want it? Hey, let me ask you a question, I actually, was James. In that film, yeah. <laughs> how was much? In... How much does Andy Samberg suck in person? <laughs> Andy Samberg's a really, really nice guy. Oh, that's the worst. I'm sorry, I want to it's, be really, it's a boring answer. I wish I could uh, say something interesting, but he's like really nice, really, really funny. I've already screwed yeah, up. Yeah, he seems like. I've he only be. just. I bet he's got a big penis too. <laughs> I already ran Gavin off. The I've road. only just watched that <laughs> pop star movie. I think easy. it came out last year. It did. How, how do you feel about watching stuff you've been in? Well, like I was it? excited to watch this because it was full of really cool people and and I enjoyed doing it and I spent ages doing it. I was here for a couple of months making that uh, film and I realised I was only in it for about two seconds. <laughs> 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 but I, I've only just um, recently watched it. So I've even after it's come out, I've been bragging to people going, yeah, you know, I was in a film like Judd Apatow, Andy Samberg. <laughs> and then I thought, oh, I better watch it. Turns out I wasn't really in it. I'm not, I was a glorified extra, but all well. my scenes, all my scenes were basically cut. <laughs> but I was here for ages doing it. I was away from my wife and kids, uh, working quite hard. Oh, is it, this a race? Are we racing? Uh, so James, sure. is, James is doing it. He's going. Is that um, you have to get to the end while the bigger cars have to slam you on the road? Yeah, no, sadly, he's going. He's going. Oh, I can. Yeah, sadly, I can I, see. I, I can see car. someone now. Oh, oh shit! A... Do it, James. Do it. All the way. Have so, you? Do you typically watch everything that you're in? No, I don't. I, I find oh. it boring. <laughs> I find it really boring. There are loads of episodes of The Inbetweeners that I've never ever seen because... You having a laugh? No, because I was there. I was there when, when we... Oh. Did, <laughs> I think them. the whole of the second series I, ha I haven't watched. It's all right. You should check it out. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but I was, the, I was there when we did it, and it was like a pain in the ass doing it. And stuff. Oh, look at that. That's, that's gonna, not fair. That's going to hurt, yeah. Yeah, that's going to put a load of time on my... So you can hold down Y to reset to the last checkpoint. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll do that then. Can you do that? Yeah. <clears throat> oh. who, uh, <laughs> who is your least favourite person to work with in the life? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> why, why is it Gavin? Who's, <laughs> who's my least... I've been really lucky that, um... You know they say things like, don't meet your heroes and they'll be dicks and things and you'll only be disappointed. That, yes. I've met, like, loads of people... M most of my heroes are musicians. And um, I've met pretty much all of them, and they're all like dead all right. Jeff was my hero once, and it's uh, true. now he regularly sticks his finger up my ass on the it's side also of the day basis. <laughs> Jeff, yeah. how's it going over there? Uh, I'm a slight. Uh, fuck you, how about that? How's it going? Come on, James Buckley, come on! I've lost, what? I've lost what, what James. You, I'm restarting. Oh, you restarted me. No, yeah, I can done. see you, you now. There you, there you are. Oh, I, I uh, as a. As a to, to fit the parlance of our friends, I was proper wedged. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, proper is a word overused back home. How much time do you spend in America versus uh, Ingaloid, as Gavin said? Um, I maybe spend the quarter of the year in America. Do you ever bring your family with you? Or I it... did the first couple of times when we first came out here, but now my kids are at school, so it's quite selfish to... Um, yeah to drag them out of school so I can chase this Hollywood dream. <laughs> <laughs> so I, go James Buckley, go. I can, you know, it is a, the, you know to, to sort of destroy their education so I can be in a movie with Andy Sandberg. So <laughs> it seems, it seems a bit selfish. Jeff. Now I've got two of them yeah, on no, me. You gotta go, you gotta go. I'm your I'm teammate. I'm trying. Jeff, are you embarrassed at how many in-betweeners references we've made in the 
five years of achievement hunter. I wasn't until today. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's moments like this that I never thought would happen. So it's just it's amazing now. how many references uh, came from that one show. There's one episode where we totally took the piss out of the the writing for it. It's an episode where we go to London and go to a nightclub. Mm-hmm. And oh, the piss shoes one. Right, right, okay, yeah, it's it, it's interesting that you picked up on that, because no one's ever picked up on that. There's this whole thing where we're going, flippers, and we're like, <laughs> what do you want, why, that's shit, what do you want from that? Do you want people, do you want to see that on t-shirts and stuff? Like, why have you, they're like, yeah, that's funny, isn't it? Because it happened to a friend of ours, and he had big shoes, and we kept saying they were flippers. And so there's that, there's bus wankers in that episode. There's the bus wanker. Um... <laughs> I think there's one more as well. We're like, stop just trying to come up with catchphrases. Right, <laughs> right. Like good three in one episode. This is it. a real game of cat and mouse that's going on right now. <laughs> just I feel, I feel not bad, being James. allowed like, to go past. It's the first day we've met, and I'm just parked in front of you right now. <laughs> I really, I really do. Yeah, feel see, bad. it was the it was that cliff that I didn't want to go down. <laughs> in a... can I get back up it? I'm not. That's too steep. So James, James when you were. Fucking I was going to ask a question. <laughs> you go. To I've got to go back to the last checkpoint. I think. Go on. You're sort of the only person whom I'm aware of who's done TV and movies, but are actually treating YouTube sort of very much like an actual YouTuber. Um, um you're like doing stuff that YouTubers do, and not just sort of half-assing a channel because you've been in other stuff. And the, it's pretty... the YouTube things are very selfish. Thanks. Uh, yeah, like... um, for me. For me personally, this YouTube little Shit. YouTube adventure, Fuck. it's I find it really fun. Um, it's on you know I, I talk about video games and I play video games. It's on a subject that I'm passionate about and that I love. Uh, and if pe if other people like it, then that's a bonus. <laughs> I sort of don't think that people are going to watch it. I just <laughs> do whatever I like. Um, but also just typical cliche actor. I've aspirations of doing stuff um, behind the camera and to feel like that I'm actually a part of creating something rather than just like here's some lines to read and Do you feel like your your newer videos are a lot better than your first videos? Oh definitely yeah they get, they, I mean they have to get better they still have to improve yeah. they <laughs> cannot get any worse <laughs> but the whole even just the sort of the, the the tech stuff behind it, buying microphones, buying cameras, software to record gameplay and stuff like that, and it, it like I love it. Like it's really interesting to me. Jesus. <laughs> and that's that's sort of why I why oh that's <laughs> sorry. Oh, no, <laughs> that was mean. It was. Um, that's sort of why I, why I started it. It was great because. Um, I feel like YouTubers are, 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 are the, the last sort of genuine uh, sort of punk rockers. I totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> There's something quite um, honest and genuine about um, most YouTube creators and um, and they're doing stuff on their terms and they rarely have to answer to many people. Let me, let me ask you this then. Um, yes. When you decided to, to, to launch into this venture, uh, were you uh, were you inspired by other YouTubers, and why was it us? <laughs> I was. I actually spoke to. I I, I I already told Gavin how I came across Achievement Hunter, and it's f through pure vanity. <laughs> uh, it was because I had a load of tweets from people saying, "Oh, the in between has got mentioned on Achievement Hunter." <laughs> so I was like, oh, "All right, I'll watch that then." I'll see what that's about. I, you know, my show gets mentioned in it. That's sort of how my brain works. So, probably, yeah. in a way. But one, then, one but then also... Things to do is to bring a... I don't know bring, what's going on in my car right now. I just smashed it off cliff. I do like to bring a lot of British references into the room full of Americans that I work in every day. That, and that none of them well. get. Well, that's, like, brilliant. Because, like, the, the in-between the show has sort of... Um, I guess you could call them turncoats, sort of little little spies that infiltrate America, yeah. 
and they go, hey, you should watch this channel, and then sort of more often than not, they go, oh, it's quite good. So we've the Inbetweeners does have a small but quite loyal fan base in America. But when we first, we actually tried to bring the first film out over here, which is really, one, it was like really funny to try and do that, but it was an absolute disaster. It was like, it was literally like the film Spinal Tap, where <laughs> it was just sort of a group of British guys going around America trying to sell them something that they didn't know or care about. And, um, ah. Like, we had a great time. We sort of did a little mini tour of America, got paid to do it, and that was a great adventure. And it was so funny doing it. We had interviews with, like, student magazines <laughs> that they forgot to turn up to. <laughs> we'd, be, we'd, be at like a, we'd be at, like, a cafe, and, the, you know, the PR guy that was looking after us would be calling up going... Yeah, the the boys are at the cafe that you wanted us to meet at, and he had it on loudspeaker. And I don't know why he did this because he did nothing for our sort of <laughs> <laughs> for our confidence at all. And it was just this guy going, "Oh man, was was that today? <laughs> oh," and, and he was like, "Could we do it tomorrow?" And like, no, they, they don't come them. from this country. They need to go. <laughs> they need to go home. We did a screening in in LA, and it was um. It was free because we wanted people to come to it. <laughs> just homeless people. Just wanted to get off the street for a, an hour or two. Right, I'm a blocker now, yeah? Yeah, so you know, now you're at the oh, bigger no, no, car. Oh, no, no, I've pressed the wrong button. You should definitely go right. from uh, runner to blocker. What, what are we doing? Shut up. So this off offense, defense. <laughs> oh. Have you, have you played this game before, Lawrence? I haven't played this mode. You've never played this mode? Nah. Really? Nah. It's the best Didn't GTA you play it with us? You liar. Offense, defense. Oh, this one, right, right. You Never son mind. of a bitch. <laughs> I remember now. You suck. All right, uh, so James, are you in a bigger car now? No, I'm. I, well, I'm in one of the armored you, cars, either, but not the great big armored car. We're collecting checkpoints. You guys are still blockers. Yeah. So now your job is to smash me off the road. All oh, right, I'm blocking. Uh, oh yeah, and you're doing it. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see now. Did okay. you, Gavin? Did you ever tell James that we used to have uh, in betweeners nights when you lived with me, where we would watch uh, episodes of In Betweeners and Todd Margaret together? That was our thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Blake was in Todd Margaret. He wasn't was he? very he was. fucking funny in Todd Margaret. I auditioned for Todd Margaret. And, Oops. Uh, I didn't get it. Sorry. I think we went for the same part. We must have done because it was like that's how people. Is there a? That's how people work. They go get me someone from the in betweeners. The reason <laughs> actually. The reason I, I started Jeff on Inbetween is sort of the moment I moved to the US was that he was already watching Todd Margaret. And then uh, I'd never seen it. And I, th I thought, that's Neil from Inbetween us. Have you seen that? And he's like, no. So I think as soon as Todd Margaret was over, that we watched Inbetween us. Yeah, you told, the and the thing, thing you said oh, about man. Todd Margaret, you said it's the most British American show you've ever seen. Yeah. It's good I show. mean, it was in fucking England, but. <laughs> I can't watch it because it's got that idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. David <laughs> Cross. No, um. <laughs> Blake, obviously. Blake oh, that does. Was uh, Blake's new <gasps> Blake's new show just went out uh, back home in Britain. It's called Prime Suspect 1973, I think. Period. And piece. it's uh, yeah, it's a prequel of a TV show called Prime Suspect that I didn't watch. It was on ITV and it was starred Helen Mirren. Oh, that's that's really old that show. Isn't yeah. It? So they've sort of revamped that, and it's about Helen Mirren's character, but she's just joined the police force. Is it a comedy or? No, and, no, it's all serious. And Blake Harrison plays Helen Mirren? <laughs> no, Blake, <laughs> Blake Harrison's this um, 70s cop and he's got a moustache and oh, wears a class. leather jacket and stuff. And, and that's uh, not a comedy. It's not a comedy, no. So um, I'll be calling him up a little bit later to take the piss out of him because he wants to do drama now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to be taken seriously as an actor. <sighs> that's very ballsy after uh, In Between Us. That's just Blake, because Blake's Blake's a frustrated actor. He hates uh, <laughs> he hates that um, Neil from the Inbetweeners was so stupid. Because Blake's quite intelligent, and uh, <laughs> it, it does it does annoy him. Was, was he the one doing the the most of an accent in Inbetweeners? In no, or does he actually sound like that? No, um, that would have been so. So me and Blake, Blake's from Peckham, and I'm from Dagenham. Which are which are um, those? Don't sound like real places. <laughs> they're 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 just sort of working class, poor places in in Greater London. It's near Agrabah, right? <laughs> <laughs> and um, but Joe, but Joe, 
and Simon, who plays Simon and Will, if that's confusing enough for you. Yeah. Um, they're Cambridge educated and... Um, a little bit posher. Yeah, they get on with you. Although you, so you said I was posh earlier. Which You're is so posh. Bo bollocks, James. You are I'm, so from, <laughs> I'm from farm town Oxfordshire. You're so posh, but you're posh in like... Like a really nice way. It's the same way that it's the same way that Joe's quite posh. Like that, like uh, like so. Also, your mate Dan is is in the army. Yeah. So, the way I describe describe Didn't Joe he get is, kicked out for being too fat though. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. If you watch um, slow mo guys in order of um, most popular videos. I don't want to be mean, <laughs> but Dan's weight does fluctuate. <laughs> I just went to the beach with him. I went to Bondi Beach with him in Sydney, and he popped his shirt off, and I was like, really? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, whatever, man. Own it, I guess. But Dan's a guy. He's a bloke. He's yeah, a, he's, he's a, a bloke. He's and a man. He told me that he's only three months away from uh, uh, being in tip-top shape. Right. Yeah, okay. he's, yeah. He's, he's, he seems pretty confident that he's he can pull that re back. He's ready yeah. for a ruck. He's, like, he's always six weeks away. Yeah. He's, you know. As soon as this is done, I'll say uh, Jay from in between has said that you're fat. <laughs> Just well, Don't say out. that, because also, like, he's a soldier. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> He's and done. I, and I his ever, service is over. I wouldn't dare say it to his face. You don't have to. You don't have to respect him anymore. Oh, oh. no! Google Calendar's just come up. <laughs> Look at you trying to sabotage me. How do I get back? There's, there's a funhouse meeting that you're missing out on, probably. Oh, yeah. um, oh, there we go. It's back. It's got. It's okay. I worked it out. I worked it out. Just, just say no to the invite. Am but, I winning? But you're, I... you're posh. I'm not. You, you and Dan are posh in the sense that, like, if if it was World War One. You'd be the first over the trench. You'd obviously be officers. You'd be officers, obviously, because of your status. But you would be the first over the trenches, and you'd muck in with the, with the Tommies. And, but would uh, we be mucking and, in just for the sake of appearances? Like, we're, well, yeah. Or would I we mean, actually want to get? But involved? even that's that's a gesture. It'd be it like, wouldn't be like when a when the branch manager of a supermarket gets on the checkout and starts scanning stuff for a day just to. It'd be more important than that. Just to show he's one of us. <laughs> yeah. I fucking love to hear you tell Gavin how posh he is, because oh, Gavin on. loves. To like invent the, the, this narrative that he's so, like a like, small town. Well, I am from the simple south. Simple boy. So <laughs> obviously, I'm well, like. Well, I am from the south. <laughs> yeah, he's from like he's from Oxford, okay? Which is um, it's where Emma Watson's from. He tells me all the time. Right, exactly. There you I'm go. I'm not sure she's from there. I just know she went I'm to the same age. Did he? Did I'm he ever tell you about the time most... he met Rowan Atkinson buying a fucking watermelon? I sold Rowan Atkinson a pumpkin. No, and it was it was a joy. Oh, I'm, I'm not even paying attention. I've just totally lost. I think at the last minute there, I've gone and won the race, James. Oh. Yeah. Because uh, you lost interest, and there we I go. Know. <laughs> yeah. there we I was, go. I was, I was, honestly, so do, you know what, do you know what threw me? <laughs> was when you said, well, I'm, I'm from the South, as a sort of <laughs> defence. Oh. I'm not having a go at you for being posh, because... Well, it's, I, don't, I don't take offence to in a, it. In a, in a really nice way. You're not obnoxious posh. You're not like those guys that hang out in sort of all bar one with a Hackett sort of rugby jersey on with the sort of collar turned up going, mm -hmm. oh yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, right, right, rugger, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I would, I would say that's more of a toff. Okay. What's a toff? I think What's a be posh without being a toff. Or so a, like bit, Joe, a Joe bit raw. Joe Thomas is posh, but he's not um, wealthy. His family aren't wealthy. His family are academics. Ah. So they're, they're sort of lecturers and teachers and but they're not the, but they work f for state schools and stuff they, they they sort of take pride in teaching young minds they have a sort of ethos and so um even though he's well educated he's not he's not sort of wealthy gavin comes from a broken home his parents are divorced <laughs> wait do we get an, a fifth person we did join? get a fifth i don't know what that means <laughs> who's gold ryan i don't know Fuck, we can't play. All right, I'm gonna back us out. Let's play Hasta La Vista. I love that when other British people are around to call you on your dumb shit. Like what? Ah, just everything about you sucks. <laughs> I like that because because James is here, you can't just insult Britain as a whole. You have to insult me personally. You which, can try. Eh? I, I, no, you it's... can try and insult Britain. I'm, but I'm... you know, there's quite a lot of ammo against America as well. So it's <laughs> what are you talking about? It'll be tit for tat. America's great again. It's <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> good. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, everything's sorted now. Job done. <laughs> Don't, doesn't need any more work. We can all um, unite over a hatred of uh, immigrants. That's good. That's true. That's true. I've also got news for you that if you're if you're if you're white and American, you are also an immigrant. So that's true. Uh, <laughs> that's super true. No, founding fathers were white there. So 
Hey, it's Elise making all the noise in the world. <laughs> Hi, Elise. As long as this country has been here, hey, it's been white. Please, uh, ruffle the bag more. No, America is great. America is pretty good. It was like, but that's what we were talking about when I was so shocked that it was like, what? We used to own this. The only thing Gavin America's has... like a, America's like a, a girlfriend that you didn't try hard enough with. <laughs> and, uh, and so she inevitably left you. And dumped a lot of tea. And then the... she got really fucking hot. And you go, oh no! <laughs> oh, good dodge. <laughs> uh, I like this comparing ex-girlfriends to British colonies, though. Lawrence, you got any ex-girlfriend stories? Yeah, we've all got our India, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> she got away. Because I'm apparently dead. it's illegal to keep them if they don't want to stay around. I think it's just frowned upon. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's only legal if people find out. The tapes get out. <laughs> <laughs> right before the- oh, oh, that's bad. That's extra bad. James, why? How- how- how can you survive- <laughs> Ooh. Right, good. <laughs> <laughs> I survived a I only had to run you over three times. I think what happened is the first- Oh, is that it? There's one life? Yeah. Damn. I bought that up around there. Right, well, I'm also- I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say the person driving the truck will it's always win. win. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll see now, because I'm driving. We'll see if I balls this up. <laughs> <laughs> that should be an experiment for slow-mo guys. Just in super slow motion. Bike versus lorry. Yes, yeah, so just dry, dry, <laughs> just play chicken with with a lorry and someone on a bicycle oh god no you want to you want to be in it you want to be on the bike i'm going to we're going to we're going to divide and conquer here and head over you go first i got it Pee Wee herman okay i couldn't figure out the suit makes sense when you're on the bike oh i see the bike is employing a sort of the high road tactic up there maybe hey lawrence i don't know what i'm doing what's up oh just, just saying hey oh hey what did you do last night oh shit oh boy um all right, James. Uh... Oh, <laughs> I just nicked him. You're enforcing a crisis because I either have to be honest and pathetic, or make up a cool lie. I don't think I can get my bicycle out of the river. Did I drown it? Let be me see uh, if I can help you get honest it out. and pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did get it out. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, this game type seems flawed. <laughs> well, I can't jump. I... Fuck. That's why I remade it. Did you? Did you kill yourself? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he did last night? Was last night another attempted suicide? I out-of-bounded. No, well, theoretically. Um, Lawrence, would you say you're the, the most unhappy member of Funhouse? Oh, that's likely. That's very likely. I mean, it, it, I'd say I'm the most extreme in terms of emotional temperament. It's because the way I say that is because I can only see the top of your head, like your forehead area, but it is very frowned in. I was, I was, I was focusing. That's the thing. I, uh, I am unhappy at all points, except for brief bursts while playing video games. It's the only time... Uh, I imagine it's some sort of form of mental disorder that has no name yet. But <laughs> what's what's what what why are you un why are you so unhappy? What's we we get deep on these videos. Uh, it's the just existential dread mostly. Just most of your life, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sort of nuclear war stuff like that. Are you worried about that? <laughs> Emotionally, yeah. So oh, that's no. a genuine worry. My two biggest fears are probably. Oh no! You didn't. Um, want shit! Oh, oh, that's awesome! <laughs> oh, oh God! <laughs> My two biggest fears are, is nuclear war and something happening to my family. Uh, and that's why I could... I, kind of once once I played the first five minutes of Fallout 4, I couldn't ever play it ever again. Oh, yeah, because you didn't you, At the beginning, there's this whole scene where you're this guy and you're looking in the mirror <laughs> and your wife's sort of helping you shave and get ready for the day and stuff. And it's like, hey, should we go see the baby? I think the baby's crying. And then, suddenly, some bloke knocks on the door. He's like, right, you got to get in the <laughs> fallout shelter now. You go to the fallout shelter, someone shoots your wife and takes your baby. And so I was like, goes. right, well, I don't want to play that again because I'm so full of anxiety now. <laughs> James James says baby, like David Bowie said it in, uh, in, uh, in Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Yeah. Baby. Forget about the baby. He wanted come, that come, baby. come, Coggle. It's a good movie, that Labyrinth. Oh, it's Stop brilliant. It. It's brilliant. Yeah, this does seem like a flawed game type. Let's play. <laughs> he's so British, he makes you sound like a hillbilly. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the whole game. Nobody made it more than six feet. Well, we'll try. We'll try another one. Yeah, we got to do a replay. Yeah, we got to do a replay. I didn't know you couldn't jump. I was expecting to be able to hop over all the obstacles. Yeah, you can. You yeah, can only. You can BMX. only bunny hop on the BMX. You can't do it on the speed bike. Weird. Let's do Hasta La Vista two. Well, yeah, last night I. Uh, I finished a game I've been playing for 10 years. So that's Wait, cool. Let me guess. Gems of War. No. Angry Birds. <laughs> no. Peggle. No, these are all great guesses, by the way. Uh, uh, is, it, is it a Pokemon game? 
Also a good guess, no. It was Persona 4. Well, at least make that, it a game that I've heard of. Never heard, heard of it. Of it. <laughs> it's not RPG. It's a JRPG, right? Yeah. yeah. See, I could have even lied about the game, and I didn't do that. Any of those would have been cooler than what I did. <laughs> what, pl what platform are you playing it on? Uh, for, well, started on PlayStation 2, then Vita, then PlayStation TV. That's why it took 10 years. What's PlayStation TV? <clears throat> it's a Vita without a screen. I've got PlayStation TV. I don't think you can get it anymore. I think they just yeah. stopped it. Uh, I don't think many people bought it. It was really cool, but... I thought it was nobody, great. Nobody got it. Everybody going crazy over the NES Classic. The v Vita TV is right there. Never Very heard cool. of it. Well, now you have. I, Did, I, were you satisfied with uh, with beating it? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. I uh, There was a time in my life where it would have... Would have hit me a lot harder than it did, probably ten years ago. I'm at a time in my life where I seriously regret selling every old console I sold to get the next one. Hmm. Like I would love my N64 back. I, I went you back can... and I've gone back and bought them all. Yeah, again. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, but, you can. They're still available. You can get them. <laughs> but I, I had to. Um, yeah, yeah. I had. You had to sell your old console to get to get to get the new one. But also, Shit. also, I, I always, I <laughs> was, was all. Oh track. man. I was always a console behind no, 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 everyone no. else when I was growing up. Did that make you inherently unpopular? Because uh, everybody's playing the new no, game. No, there, there, were, there were loads of other reasons <laughs> why I was unpopular at school. But there was, um... Hmm. But it, it actually meant that I've played more games than, than, than most people my age. So my, my first console was the... It was some sort... I think it was the Commodore. It was something on it that you put a cassette in. Ooh. You had to have a cassette player. I had an Amstrad. Like Commodore. The fuck's an Amstrad? That's pretty shit. It's like a ZX Spectrum. I think it was the uh, the Alan Sugar console. Don't hit me! Don't do it! Uh, then I had an Atari 2600s. That was my first one. Ooh! <laughs> You're lucky that there was that tiny little wall. <laughs> yeah, there. I re very much was. <clears throat> but you guys never got the Master System. Sega Master System? Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah we did. I had one. Oh, okay. Oh. I had that instead of a Nintendo. So all my friends were Nintendo kids. Yeah. And I had a Sega Master. I was I playing think, Shinobi. I don't think there, there were many Sega Master systems in, in the I America. was super... They used to be way I more... I was not popular for having it, that's for sure. There <laughs> used to be way more US-Europe uh, differences between the video game world. Like how the Genesis was called the Mega Drive. I think... In Europe. I was watching a documentary. I think it's. I think it was called From from Bedrooms to Billions. How am I still alive? Or it might have been a there different one. <laughs> But, but for <laughs> for a long time, the UK were like at the cutting edge of sort of video games and, and how do we balls that up? Sinclair and, and stuff like right. that. Just being you. Um, and but purely because there was no internet, suddenly Sega came out like from Japan. Yeah. But they just couldn't see it coming. They had no idea it was coming. <laughs> there was no, there was no warning. There's no rumors, right? And, and everyone was like, "Yeah, we're going to be around for years. We're going to be, the, we're gonna, we're going to lead this market." But the Japanese had like created way better stuff, and then it just turned up one day in the country, and purely because there was no internet. They had no idea, and uh, that destroyed the sort of the gaming industry in 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 the UK. You guys still have some shade of rare. We always start strong and then bollocks it up. Lost Lionhead, though. That's a bummer. I think we've got some good... Poor Lionhead. I think we've got yeah. some good UK studios. Was, wasn't was Rockstar in yeah, the Rockstar UK originally? Okay. And yeah, they're from uh, Leeds, is that right? That's where my dad's from. <laughs> <laughs> what, what street does he live on? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was the street? I don't remember. I think it was like... It was like a, a four-digit number, which yeah. doesn't happen in England. <laughs> and, uh, like Leeds Road or something. <laughs> it, was, it was like Leeds Road. <laughs> oh, we got James here, but now we're referencing a Todd Margaret episode. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. It's weird. I think I've seen the one you're talking about. The Live at Leeds reference? Nope, never mind. No, I think you're right. No, you're right. That's the only thing I know Leeds from. We Dang. just don't want to give you any credit, Liz. How, uh... <laughs> what, for recognizing a reference? Yeah. Oh, oh. That, was, that should have been a breakable fence. You have a... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just they do. They do shock you sometimes. The things that you think will break yeah. in G on GTA. I think like, the, the standard video game procedure is don't hit a tree oh. ever in most games. But yeah. Fences. Fences are a crapshoot, man. Damn it, Jeff! Oh, why is this semi made out of rubber? What's I happening? I think this might be the first one I make it to. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Very well. I, I've just. Con I've completely. Have you bollocksed it? I've uh, I've completely bollocksed it up. Yeah. How uh how so how let me ask you a uh, in betweener esque 
question, James. Yeah, you better, because that's the only interesting thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that you were nice about thing your camera, I've got to nothing left. contribute. Uh, how, uh, how much of this show was improvisation? None. Really? Yeah. Uh, is that because you guys aren't, like, funny off the cuff? We, or because we they just won't let you? Well, I think that's sort of evident. Um, but also, we, <laughs> weren't, we just weren't trusted. We weren't... Really? Yeah, we weren't trusted with it. But also, um, the writers are our friends, and know us too well and so you didn't need it like so they had our voice yeah so the, the way that the lines were written were, were, were how i would normally speak that makes sense so it sounds it well it should sound quite natural it does it did that's why that, that's the reason i asked actually oh shit but obviously once, oh, i've made it so far <laughs> once <laughs> oh shit dude oh. <laughs> once it <laughs> once the show becomes a hit you know obviously the actors start becoming quite big you know for their boots, so <laughs> so we start saying, you know, I don't think it should be done like this. And then, but the writers were going, "Come on, do you, re do you really want to fuck about with this? <laughs> like, it's, this is tried and tested. Surely we can just keep like doing it the for, way we do." For most projects, well, that'd be an issue. That? But, but for that, they're just like, "Come on, don't be a knob." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that that's we we we're, we're like siblings. The way we treat each other and talk about each other and talk to each other. There was a time where, um, when we were doing the second film, we were in Australia, and we had a day off, so we went mini golfing. And um, Simon Bird, who plays Will, wasn't going through the obstacles. He was sort of like going around them. And I was going, that's not in the spirit of of the game. You're supposed to t tackle the obstacles. You got to go through the wheel. Yeah. He was going, no, no, no. The idea of the game is to do it in less shots as possible. That's what I'm trying to do. And I was going, well, that's, you know, that's... So we had, we had this massive argument. He took a shot and didn't go through the obstacle. He went around the obstacle, which I still maintain is pointless. Yeah. <laughs> and as I bent down to put down my ball, because he's a bit shorter than me, I, I was right by his ear, and I went... I just whispered, pointless, in his ear. <laughs> <laughs> and he went mental. And he started, he started going, he started going, you're a fucking cunt, Buckley. You're a cunt, <laughs> right? We were, at, we were playing mini golf and there was loads of kids around us and he was screaming that you're a cunt. And then um, at the end of, um, I don't know where my bike is. I do not know where my bike is and I'm going to get killed. Is it on the a, map? It might yeah, be. there should be a blue dot on the mini map. Oh my God, he's it's miles away. It's fine. How are you alive? <laughs> Lawrence just snuck by. I think we should focus our attention on a. Uh, Maybe. Wait, do, do both of us have to get finish? Past for these trees. I'm gonna imagine no, Britain real fast. Uh -oh. First. oh, he got me. Lawrence, yeah. can you do me a, a lemon and just crash somewhere? Um, it will probably happen. But to, by the end of the the game, uh, he came up and hugged me and then said, Wait, "You guys are really far away." Sorry for calling you a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> And now it's one of our most favourite <clears throat> stories to sort of laugh about. <laughs> and sounds like something that easily could have happened on the TV show. Yes. But there's no professionalism. Like, there's no sort of, like, working relationship that you'd expect maybe on, a, on an Ooh, actual... Boy, there you come. ...on a proper film set. Ooh. We talk to each other like that and take the piss out of each other all day long. And oh, if we manage to record something at the same time, then that's... That's ever, sort of a bonus. Do you ever try and butcher each other's performances? Oh god! Ooh. Do we ever try and what? Like butcher each other's yes, performances? All the put time. Each other off. There was a time when we were doing the first series where um, Joe Thomas uh, had to go and approach a girl How do I get on a at a party. Oh. But before he even got there, he sort of opens his mouth and she just goes, Fuck. go away. <laughs> <laughs> And he just couldn't get it right. Like, he just, he can't do uh, anything physically with Joe. Like, when he dances in the second film and stuff like that. Like, he, he's not, he hasn't got good coordination at all. I feel like all. he nailed the, uh, the catwalk with a ball out, though. He did quite well with that. <laughs> yeah, was that his actual ball? Yeah, that was his ball. We um, just watched that the other day. <laughs> that <laughs> really was his ball. That's a good, it's all right, ball. Lawrence, where in the name Thompson of Christ ball. are you going? I fell off the overpass. This is getting really complicated. So did you know any of the boys before you started the show? No. Or did you, you guys were just cast? No, it was really weird. We were, we were, I, was, I was the first one to be cast. I was in the pilot uh -oh. of the show, and uh -oh. I played Neil. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yes. I played Neil in the pilot. What? Really? Yeah. What? But they, they said, um, we, we'd think you'd be better if you were Jay. And I went, yeah, all right, whatever. I don't care. And... Um, it, <laughs> 
but we didn't know each other and we had our first we, the final audition was all of us together I was reading with a few different variations of people because I'd already been cast and it was it was Blake, Joe and Simon and they were the last people that we all read together and it just uh, something really weird happened a little bit of magic a little bit of magic how often do you see or talk to them? We don't see each other an awful lot nowadays, which is a shame. Um, we talk to each other almost every day. We've got a we've got a email thread that is five or six years old. <laughs> it's uh, the same thread. It's titled "Pussy Whipped." <laughs> I can't actually remember why it's titled that. Some sort of joke. Um, but in it is basically our whole relationship. And if if it got hacked, if anyone got into that, they would have. Oh man, they would have some dirt on us. They would have some dirt on us. And like photos, but we we add to that, you know, pretty much every day. And it's ju it's it's just there's no videos or photos. It's all written just down. Verbal filth. Yeah, it's verbal, and it's it's yeah. just us taking the piss out of each other. Mostly Blake. Have you worked with any of them post in betweeners professionally? Yeah, I've just done. I've just finished a show with Joe Thomas, who played Simon, uh, and. Um, it was written by one of the writers of the Inbetweeners and directed by him as well and it's called White Gold and it's set in Essex in the 1980s and it's about um, double glazing salesmen uh, ripping off old women sort of going to their house going you need double glazing and then making them pay through the roof uh, for windows and that was a thing that actually happened. And so it, it's sort of like, the way I could describe it is that it's like Wolf of Wall Street meets the Inbetweeners. <laughs> When's the, that out? Does, is Margot Robbie naked in it? <laughs> no. Uh, mm. Ed Westwick is in it. So is he naked in it? Yeah. I think he might, I think he's in his pants at some point. <clears throat> he's, in, he's, in his, he's in his underwear. Pants means trousers over here, doesn't it? Splitting up. No, I had, I had a question about, um, there's a scene in one of the episodes of In Between Us where I think you're talking about shagging the queen or something or like going to town on the queen. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds sort of the level. And as I watched that, I thought, are you as an actor now worried about your chances of getting knighted because that exists? <laughs> um, no, I sort of don't agree with the royal family as oh, a concept, right. so it wouldn't be a problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um... I think that's nonsense. I think if you came to this country and said, "Oh, um, I mean, that is what that is basically why the, 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 the Revolutionary War happened." If you, if someone turned up and went, "Oh, there's this family, um, they're a family riot, and they're all related, so that means that they they need money, um, and you have to pay them uh, out of your tax, out of your earning," you'd go, "Right, well, what, what do they do?" And what, what's the point of them? And you go, no, they're pointless. They don't do anything. They just take your money. You, you, you know, every month when you get your paycheck, a little Isn't bit it? of that goes to the queen, who, by the way, already has loads of money, tons of money. I've heard that about the queen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would get on too well in America. I don't think that the people would take to that idea. They I don't even like paying for actual things. I yeah. don't. <laughs> That's why we have all so many guns. I don't subscribe to it. And, uh, like, I don't hate the royal family because they're fans of the Inbetweeners. Oh, shit, dude! Yeah, you thought I couldn't drive over that. Which is enough. They're fans of the Inbetweeners. Yeah, uh, William and Kate went to watch <laughs> the Inbetweeners in a cinema when, the, when one of the movies came out. Uh, but I'd do a deal with them. I'd say, right, you can keep everything. Like, you've got loads of stuff already because there's people who are really hard up and poor and really struggling with their food bill and stuff. And the last thing they need to do is pay for a, 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 a privileged family to get even more rich. Also, if it, 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 yeah. they could just, they could make a very good living off of tourism alone. Well, there's that. I mean, that's the oh. one um, thing that people bring up, and they say, well, well, if there, if it wasn't for the royal family, we wouldn't have as much tourism in in London, and that, you know, there's a huge economy there, and it brings in loads of foreign money into the country do it uh, I'm like what so what nobody visits anywhere else that doesn't have a royal family <laughs> there's no one going to Paris and what did they do to their royal family now I'm not saying we should 
chop off the Queen's head. <laughs> I'm not suggesting that at all. I'm saying let's just cut a deal where we say, right. Oh, I thought you said let's just cut her. <laughs> not no. chop her head off. <laughs> let's chop her head oh, off. Let's just chop, just a little bit. bit. Just cut her up a little bit. <laughs> no, I'd say let's just do a deal where we say we're not going to give you any more money, but you can keep everything. Because, uh, and I think there's some weird law where they they have to be given more than the, what they were given last year. Damn, that's a I good don't know if that's true. Got. I don't know if it's true, but I've said it, so it must be. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the internet now. And you're you're but, stepping into a real life YouTuber, <laughs> making up stuff, whipping up controversy, so and say, you, saying as if it's fact. Yeah. Do you often read your comments on your videos? Keep in touch. Yeah, with I read every single comment. That's good. I read people, every single comment. People love hearing that. I sort of feel guilty because of because of the low quality content that I produce. <laughs> does, <laughs> does your audience hate you as much as our yeah. audience hates us? No, my, never goes my subscribers are fucking brilliant. They're funny. like so good. That sounds lovely. My first um, video that I made uh, was me saying I've got this idea. I want to make I want to make YouTube videos. And um, ah fuck, I'm gonna live it. I, I filmed it on my phone, and I was whispering for some reason. Oh, I was really down. like scared to talk too loudly. I mean, was it just you in the room alone? It was just me in a uh, in a room on my own, yeah. And I was <laughs> shaking. Guys, I'm starting a YouTube channel. It's just our little secret. Shut oh, yeah, up. <laughs> don't, don't tell I anyone. was shaking like I was so nervous. I think I fucked that up for us. Um, but everyone, everyone always goes. The comments are if they are if they if the comments are ever critical, they're usually quite interesting and like suggesting something I should do to make my videos better. Yeah, I mean it can be nerve wracking starting something like that because you know as an actor you're playing characters. Yeah, so if it's, you're a dick, it's, re it's, it's really like, difficult oh, because it, it. because I'm basically saying, oh, I hope you like me. Yeah, <laughs> and because I'm so fragile and sensitive and needy, such a little <laughs> weasel. Uh, if people started going, you're a dick, I'd go, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I'll, go just, I'll pack it in now. Yeah. We, ha we have a similar thing where it's definitely important to, to listen to the audience, but like most of the suggestions we have are that Gavin should kill himself. Right. <laughs> and uh, maybe that would make the videos better. I don't know. That's extreme. It seems extreme. Yeah. I mean... Don't kill yourself. Yet. I read I read every comment, and uh, if it's something I agree with, I, I, I will take it on board. But I, I make no... Um, you know, I I don't I I make the videos for me. Yeah, they're they're, yeah. they're, they're only for me. Well, I think that's the only. <laughs> really, I shouldn't put them on YouTube. I that's should, the only I reason just... they'll be good, though, is if you want to make them. Yeah, no, that's totally true. Rooster Teeth started because Bernie and I wanted to make each other laugh, and Gus as well. We wanted... Well, we don't really care about Gus. He was there. Yeah. He was there. No, that's the whole wow. thing. He's like trying to make your friends or yourself laugh. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And if other people like it, then that's like Little amazing. Bones. Yeah. But I think I've got, I mean, obviously it's it's nothing compared to you, big boys. But I've got. You have over a quarter of a million followers already. Do I? Do, do I? I yeah, like oh, I knew, I I knew it had gone past two hundred thousand. So and it happened get, really fast. Do you get the silver play button already? Yes. Yes, I'm really proud of it. Like I'm gen, I'm genuinely proud of it. I'm sure. Uh, gold will come quickly once you now you got silver. Then what is it, ruby? After that. Diamond after that. Diamond. Diamond, diamond at 10 million. How many people have got diamond? There must only be a handful. Quite a of few. I'd probably like. Uh, really? I'd, I'd say like maybe 10. Probably over 100. 100 uh, people. Over 100 people have got 10 million subscribers on I would true? say it's approaching that. Wow. Because. Uh, we're Ro fucking. Ro Rooster, Teeth, suck. Rooster Teeth is at 9 million and we're like the. I think like 109 in top, in That's top true. subs. But we're also. We have 48 fucking channels. <laughs> That's true. I wish we could combine ours. That's another thing as well. I think I'm limited as to how how big. Oh, I forgot what we were playing. I <laughs> forgot what we were playing too. I just got oh, you were just right. going for a ride. I huh? was like, what a nice bike ride. Through yeah. the hills. No, totally the same thing. Like, you guys are not going anywhere. Shit, dude. I just park on that. Here we go. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll save you. I'm safe. Oop. Ah! Stay, stay on. Damn it. No, think... no, 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 no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That was brilliant mind I'm games. limited to how big my YouTube channel can get because I do it all myself. Yeah. Like, I edit it myself and stuff like that because I think that's sort of the point of it. If I if I started handing it over to people to edit, it would...
become pointless for me as, as a as a thing to do. As someone who still edits, like I edit all my videos too on my channel, and I just can't let go. No, I really also yeah, also need like I I have an opinion of what I want yeah. it to be like, um, and also because I have a job as well that I have to do, because <laughs> uh, you got you do have to pay like bills and stuff in the end. It turns out. But if you got to the point where you had sort of 10 million subs and it was decent income, would I really you ever like, be happy just I, I doing really that? I do like still... my job. I really do like yeah. it. So I can, I can only ever bring out one video a week. Oh, we should end on a deadline, Jeff. Uh, let's end on a deadline. All right, we, this is a... I'm not, ready for, I'm not ready for this daydream to be over. You ever see Tron? Have I ever seen Tron? Is yes. that an insulting of course, question? Of course I have. God, what a prick. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tron. But it's not. I didn't see the recent one. I didn't either. I heard it was Tron Legacy. Okay. I, I have I... no memory of it. I definitely watched it. Tron, I took away Tron, nothing. Tron. Lawrence, you have all the opinions in the world. How did you feel about Tron? I was I was shaking, trying With... to trying to not say anything. With anger. So glad you asked. Uh, loves Tron. I love Tron a lot. I love Tron. Tron Legacy was not not so great. Fantastic art direction, great soundtrack. Story, what I find garbage. Fascinating about this game type, Lawrence, is that the way they made the light bike seen in the first Tron was like typing in the coordinates manually and you know, having to oh, render yeah. it over several hours. But now this video game just does it on the fly. Is like looks way better and is a real time simulation. And yeah. it was it's done as an afterthought. Yeah, it's like, oh let's add a trail to the bikes. <laughs> we did the we this game's four years old. Oh let's just uh, do the Tron thing. Yeah, fuck yeah, it. Let's do Tron. That's the greatest thing about GTA five is its longevity and how much they've been able to innovate with I it. I feel like this and cutting it. stunts have been fantastic. It yeah, is, for sure. it is a really good game. They're adding, it is uh, a really good game. I'm proud to say that uh, I've 100% completed it. Ooh, are you serious? You got the on, key to the city. Uh, on PlayStation 3 and PS4. Jesus Christ! Yeah, laugh. So you've done like every single race God, and all that. So much more. Ah, woo! Oh, that, that was so bad. I thought I'd. Turn a bit sharper, do, 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 do. but I so I really slowly just drifted into the trail. Then was it at least, was it someone else's trail at least, or was it yours? No, I've not even. Yeah, I just ran myself. <laughs> just myself. There you go. Yeah, Jeff, you were in the you were in the death spiral. Yeah. Huh? No getting out of that. God, you you and those last minute sharp turns. I've watched Tron a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I I went to a midnight showing. Lawrence, boy, what's your, how old are Ooh, you? Oh. Oh boy, that was bad. No! <laughs> I'm gonna ask you a question. Yeah. Oh no. I'm opening up a can of worms here. Alright. What is your favorite movie? Oh, Fifth Element. I love Fifth Element, yeah. dude. It's, it's a, a perfect movie. movie. I like it because the protagonist and the antagonist never are on screen at the same time. That's a good the point. Entire movie. Of, so. of all the movies that have been made. <laughs> I can't have the trouble with that one too. It's a fun movie, Millage Roberts is fucking hot. But... I mean, I'm embarrassed by my favorite movie of all time. What's your favorite movie of all time? Basketball. <laughs> yeah, that's oh. true. That is oh, your basketball, favorite movie. Yeah, I mean, I like. You're obviously, also it's so funny. Oh ah! ah! shit! They're heroes what of happened? mine. I died too. Uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Uh, they're very funny dudes. Um, my, I think my favorite film of all time is um, Jurassic, gonna... Jurassic Park. Oh, okay. Just came out on Netflix. It's they, uh, such a good film. The correct answer is Harold and Maude. I've, Harold and Maude is very good. It is almost a perfect film. As close to a perfect film as, a, as yeah, it Yeah, it doesn't. It, it just comes doesn't shy have Chris of, Tucker, though, does it? It comes shy of something happening. So it does, it doesn't not, have Chris Tucker in some sort it of doesn't weird have, drag act. Yeah, you didn't think so. about that, did you? Yeah, with a big sort of dildo afro on the front of his head. Yeah, unfortunately, Chris Tucker is is hampered by the fact that Chris Tupper. Tuck, Tupper. <laughs> Chris Tucker <laughs> Chris has Chris become Tupperware. Chris Tucker. Yeah. Like, we have to deal with the fact that, like, if Chris Tucker had just died Ooh! early. Oh, or, every kill! But now Chris Tucker is like, have you seen this comedy special on Netflix? I think I tried to watch it. Yeah. He was just talking about Michael Jackson all a the time. Lot oh, of, no. A lot of people tried to watch it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he was just talking about Michael Jackson all the time. And I was like, nah, maybe don't talk about Michael Jackson anymore. He gets super religious too. It's hard to come back from that. He, uh, Jesus, Lawrence. I, I don't know why. Me. I can't kill anyone but Gavin. I've died four times and oh! you did it. Every See there, you got me. Oh, sweet. Ah! <laughs> this is what I say. Did I get someone then? You did me. you just crash into that purple I, line? I did, yeah. You know what nice. I like? A little bit. There it is! <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> no! Are you lived? <laughs> At least nobody was why did it go? Why did it go all slow motion Godfather, then? Godfather, whatever. Uh, somebody got a power up. I have oh, a YouTube okay. channel. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Nice. How many subscribers has Slow Mo Guys got now? Almost 9 million. Fucking brag about oh, it. Oh my god. Oh, 
Man, that Dan is popular. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's sexy body. Yeah, he is. Um, he, yeah. He's a dumb piece he's, of shit, though. I'll tell you is. what. I tell you what. If you, <laughs> fuck. If nice. you can offer something different in YouTube, you, the world's your oyster. It's true. Crush stuff with a fucking pneumatic drill. <laughs> <laughs> a pneumatic drill? A pneumatic whatever Like it is. a jackhammer? Jackhammer, yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking about, uh... But I... Th you, th Put isn't in a your, blender. Isn't your set. background in... Shit! Is... Is your dad a, a cinematographer or something? Or a DIP Ooh. director No, I, I used to work... I used to do that, though. This old dude that used to molest them is, though. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I did that for about seven years in the UK film industry. Yeah. And then I had a little bit of overlap with uh, the YouTube channel, but... And I just stop because that's stressful. I just don't get on too well with the uh, waking up at 5 a.m. and driving to London every day, sort of. Yeah, style. London, idiot. Ooh, it is. Um, that's it. That's the like. Do you live in London, James? No, I live outside London. I don't like London. <laughs> don't like it. Um, a bit expensive. It costs a fortune to live there, and so like, here's uh, an example, right? Um, I know. I know pretty much the net worth of the other guys from the in-betweeners because we're all on exactly the same like plane. Like we, all, like like we all made oh. the, we all make the same money. <laughs> yes! That was good. Joe Thomas has got a two bedroom flat in well I can't say where it is, in central London. You can put the address, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, Simon Bird, he's got the same. Blake for a while, he had a two bedroom apartment near the Docklands. I lived just outside London, a half hour train journey away, and I bought a six bedroom house. <laughs> <laughs> the same money. <laughs> a, six, a six bedroom, five bathroom house. That is nice. I know we should stop. For, oh, let's play one more. Have one. you shit in every bathroom? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Was it the first thing you did? No, but it did. It, honestly, like Was I knew that my one? life had changed it off from to growing one. up in Dagenham to when I did first take a shit in one of the bathrooms, like long after I bought the house. Yeah. I was sat there and I thought, I haven't shat yeah, I've not before. actually had a shit here before. I actually, uh, in my house, I Which started one? a shit in one, ha in one bathroom, <laughs> realised there was no bog roll, and then finished in a different one. And that's quite exhilarating. That is, that is fine living. Is this the same map? Yeah. yeah it's Why do we do that? I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> it just did it. It's easier for editing. This is the, I mean, I feel like the gameplay is sort of secondary to uh, Oh no, I thought I was going to get you! Oh, I was gonna. I was actually gonna start celebrating then. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, feeling, no. That was good. I was feeling well cocky. So now that we're all rich and famous, all of us. Yeah. Um, it's good, isn't it, being yeah. rich and famous? It's not bad. <laughs> Do you think back spitefully on every partner that left you and yeah, hope? Like a Lawrence question. Hope. There's honestly not that many partners to go through. Yeah, I know. I know the feeling. Is she? Do you make you some think up? back on her? <laughs> Do you ever uh, pretend that there are more, just so you can like feel really, you know, like smug about it? No, not really. I mean, mm, I'm not. It's, try it. it's quite. It's sort of embarrassing to say, but I think my first actual, real, serious girlfriend is the girl that I'm now married to. No, hey. that happens. I've, I've married every woman that's kissed me. I. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I Shit. never. I'd never lived with another girl before, or or had children, to my knowledge, um, with 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 any other girl. So. Any other? Oh god, just absolutely taken out. Then any other relationship ah! I had before then was sort of quite juvenile and and awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit! I've done a film. I've I've done a film with um, Rupert oh, I see Grin. You over there. And, Such a good name. And um, Grin. I'm friends um, with Felden, who plays Draco. He's my he's my only celebrity friend. He's gotta have a tough <laughs> life, I would think. Mm. Why? Because he was so fucking hated in the movie. I'm sure it it like people, it, it transfers to real life. Like people love him. I uh like there's a, if you ever watch the Ghostbusters one uh, director's commentary, they have a whole bit where they're laughing. Oh, it's actually no. quite mean. Oh, thank God. Uh, where Harold Ramis is talking and laughing about how the guy that played uh, uh Walter Peck, Dick Dickless. Yeah. Uh, how he hates all of them because people love oh, to no. hate him. He's dead oh, now. Falling off. But like they said that like he literally he would like he tell stories about how like he won't talk to them or communicate with them in any yeah. way because he blames them. But like he'll walk down the street and people like he he told a story about how like guys in a pickup truck drove by 
called him dickless and threw beer cans at him. Yeah. And that's like, that's the rest of his life. Oh, or was the rest of his life. Sort of get over it. There's worse things that can happen. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a movie. Oh no, what, <laughs> people, re yeah. people remember you from that really... Fucking iconic Famous, famous iconic film. Movie, yeah. Oh, my heart bleeds for you. <laughs> <laughs> and now you also hate the guys... How did you that, that, <laughs> that yeah. helped you with that? Did you survive that, James? I did, yeah. That sort of bullshit that was. How do you use... Is there some... Oh, you're uh, supposed to press a button yeah, to the use the power Yeah, the left stick is the power-up. Yeah, you click it in. That's how I went slow-mo oh, that right, one. Oh, there we go. Ups. Wait, who's, who's doing my that, thing here? <laughs> I, I've, I've slowed it all down, but I maybe should have... Uh, that was me just testing it. <laughs> I maybe should have saved that. No! <sighs> oh. Oh no! <laughs> I keep thinking that I've got oh I've got this sewn up. Lawrence. And then that I end up crashing. Is harsh, Lawrence. I've just spawned. I've just spawned, Lawrence. Lawrence. I'm You're one trapping me in a hay hole. You in the maze. Oh wait, uh, you got the inside turn though! I'm oh shit. I'm one oh, oh, oh! My jump didn't work! I was gonna do the coolest thing in the fucking world and it You're didn't gonna work. snake me in? Oh, yeah, I was gonna take the inside. I guess you could have just left at that point. But. Oh, Did I kill man. myself? Did you just jump over something? Yeah, there's a jump. Yeah, there's a hop. Too. Pretty handy when you know how to use it. I want to play again. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I've died enough times. It's just me and Lawrence. Right, yeah, you guys are wrapped up. Oh, that's okay. I drove off. Oh, you did? Uh, hmm. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Man, right, we got two lives left each. Yeah, so James, did you say now. you have any any uh, like goals for your YouTube channel? No, I've never ever ever set myself any kind of goal in life. Oh, go uh, for gold. Which, which means I'll never be disappointed. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's I can't handle goals because I'll never reach them. So no, there's no goal, is there? What, what can you, I mean, it. how can you, YouTube now is, um, that was a kind of a I'm, wet I'm late yeah. to the party. I'm very late. So it's not something, um, that I think you can say, oh, I'll do this and become successful at that. It, it is, it is harder. To, to break through the white noise it's, these days. Yeah, it's very hard. There's a lot of fodder out there. Yeah, I'm, I'm in amongst that. I'm clogging a lot of YouTube up with the <laughs> stuff, with the crap I'm churning out. Uh, so this is, the, this is the last round? Uh, I don't know. It says round three. You might have just set infinite rounds. I, I, it's whatever the default is. Which so means it, we'll die here. It's probably <laughs> not. Well, I had a good one. All right, so we'll just end it after this. Ah, but I've had, a, I've had a bloody lovely time making this video. Kill myself. No! Oh. Jeff, what was your favorite part of this video? Uh, I like anything that uh, is disparaging toward you. Yeah. You're one of my favorite people not to like. <laughs> oh, don't let me do that to you, Gavin. Don't let me what do is, that. What is your personal life, Gavin? Are you... Um are you, are you are you in a relationship? I am. Got you a girlfriend. Are you cohabiting? She lives with me. She's lives my with him. she's my second girlfriend ever. Right, I've got myself into a <laughs> I've, I've got myself into a situation here where I've just done a spiral. Yeah. Uh, you're in your own your own hate hole. <laughs> oh boy. Oh! Are you are you you you're still on Facebook, Gavin? Like do you uh, you guys... barely. Honestly, it's the only way I can communicate with my old friends because I don't have any of their phone numbers. Really old I don't. Either. They don't. <laughs> they don't sound like they're your friends, mate. Sort of <laughs> like, that, because that's my <laughs> that's my argument for not having Facebook. Because I always just think, well, if I need to speak to someone that I want to talk to, I'll just give them a call. I think that's a pretty pretty solid argument, actually. But Gavin, no, it's the other way around. Don't do it. <laughs> Is that why you won't accept my friend request on Facebook, James? <laughs> I don't have a Facebook account, so... The only reason I'm on Twitter is because somebody set up an account pretending to be me. Oh, you had to just get in there. And, and yeah. uh, so, I got my manager to get in touch with Twitter in California. I don't know where it is. I think San Francisco, San Francisco or something. And saying, look, there's somebody pretending to be James. And also he was saying... Very racist. Racist things. jokes. Yeah, he was like he was he was tweeting racist jokes and being quite pro. And I know that you've always wanted to make your own racist jokes. So well, that was the thing as well. They were racist jokes that I came up with, so it was plagiarism. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but it was also they were also like being, being really pro BNP, which is the British Nationalist Party, uh, which is quite a, a racist. <laughs> um, that's like the the National Front, right? Yes, yeah, that's exactly okay. what it is. And. Um, 
I was like, well, oh, stop doing that. Can we, can we stop this person doing that? Because some people might think it's me. So Twitter were like, right, okay, um, this person's pretending to be you. And I was like, yeah. And they were like, okay, what, what's your account? I was like, I don't have an account. I, like, I don't want to be on Twitter. And that, their, their heads just exploded. It was as if I didn't exist if I didn't have an account. They were like, well, you can't be pretending to be you if there isn't already a you. <laughs> but I'm me. But I was like, no, 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 I'm me. And there is already a me, but I just don't have an account. They're like, it won't let us do anything unless we have your account to say that you are you. <laughs> so I had to join Twitter. <laughs> they got me. They put a little blue tick on my name. Yeah, that's, well, how, they, that's now, how Twitter became successful, actually. So now, blue tick. so now, if there are any racist jokes... They're all from... They are from me. They so are definitely from me. If I hear you right, not only is the queen I siphoning money from people. England, but so Twitter, Twitter created a fake profile for you to extort you into creating I your think own that's Twitter what profile. it was. Twitter was that always was. after the James Buckley market. <laughs> they what? had the president and people like that tweeting and they were like, do you know what would really kick this off? Do you know what would, you know, people would start buying shares in Twitter and stuff? Get James Buckley on Twitter. Yeah. How are we going to do it though? He doesn't want to. <laughs> make him a racist. Yeah, make a dummy account, start being racist. So should we, uh, do you want to pack it in? <laughs> uh, let's do this one round and we'll <laughs> Every round is the last one. <laughs> we, fuck we, Three different people have won a round. I don't know how many rounds you have to win. Oh, so you're day. saying this is the deciding round? It yeah. might be. Uh, also, saying... If it's first to two, sure. Whoop. Saying three different people have won a round it's just a means just a polite way of saying that I haven't won a round. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to be British polite. That's the part where you're not polite, but it sounds like you are? Yeah. Oh, okay. James, do you ever get yes. accused of being rude, but you're actually, in fact, just being English? Over in America. <laughs> no, not at all. But Damn it. Also, I tell you what drives me mental is just people not holding doors for you out here. Have they, you noticed that? I don't know. I don't know if it's if it's a thing in Texas, but in California. I feel like Texas is very friendly. Oh my god, they they will not check to see if someone is walking in a door behind them. Well, it's probably because you're not helping their career. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's also a bit of a thing. Uh, you typically hold doors open for ladies, not for dudes. I hold well, doors open for dudes. I do you too. Just, you just but hold the door. I mean, come you on. You hold a door because it's nice. It's yeah, a, it is, I mean, it. in Texas, we do it all the time. You some just you just hold a door open because you might crush someone that's that's behind you. I've had people bitch me off for holding the door open for them. They've really? told you off for not holding. Yeah. Um, I have situation. been. Do you think it's because you were holding the door or because you're off putting? Uh, well, you know, <laughs> there was the smell. Um, but when I was staying in, I was I, I rented a house in Woodland Hills for a while, and I did get told to go back to my own country. Ah. Uh, that I, Did I got, you? I got told that this was America and to go back to my own country <laughs> what? by the neighbour who was bless. right next door which made it a very frosty few months. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I always I always get made uncomfortable when someone's holding a door open oh. for me but I'm like 25 feet from the door. Yeah. And then I gotta run. Yeah, it's you a gotta weird gray well, that's it. You just, you do, you just pick up your pace a little bit. It's fine. It's not a problem, Kevin. You seem very confident. All right. Ah! You pick up your though. pace for a little bit and you say thank you. Thanks because for then someone the is compelling you to walk faster than you may have wanted to. Yeah, but they're holding the door for you. It's like them. somebody creating a Twitter account for they're you. They're not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Like, oh, I know no. James is racist. I'll go ahead and knock out the racist <laughs> jokes for him. <laughs> He's probably too busy acting. Oh, God, I'm having a nightmare. I feel bad about that, creating that Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Something good came of it. Yeah. Namely, the world now knows. the only way I knew how to racist. get them all on Twitter. Also, don't follow me on Twitter. Absolute waste of time. For a long time, I felt because I work in comedy, I felt like every tweet that I'd send, there'd be about half an hour's worth of work going yep. into it. I'd <laughs> be like, "Well, it's not it funny." Uh, but then, when I became a dad, suddenly uh, I didn't feel the pressure to be funny anymore because I just thought, "Well, I'm a dad, so I'm supposed to not be funny," and it just <laughs> it just freed me up. It freed my life so much. The pressure of being funny was was gone, and I could just do whatever I want. I think the last tweet that I sent out was, it was actually a, 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 a screenshot of a um, of a notebook note that I'd written out because the rant was too long to put in a tweet, and it was like this this rant's too long to be put out in a tweet. But I know we're all thinking it, and it was just about how um, in the man with the golden gun. James Bond um, asks a little a Asian family where he can find Lazar, who's the um, ammo manufacturer and guns manufacturer, so he can get information on the man with the golden gun. 
But in a previous Bond, You Only Live Twice, Bond states that he uh, studied um, uh, Chinese and uh, Oriental languages and got a first in Cambridge. So why would he? Why would he have difficulty talking to a Chinese family? Didn't they also dress him up as an Asian? In that, they did. In that yeah, one? they did. Yeah, <laughs> they did. Uh, Sean Connery was like a six foot two um, bodybuilder, <laughs> <laughs> so they put a wig on him and sort of sellotaped his eyes a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> they gave him it like spark brows. Maybe that was the. But 70s, that's though. that's been driving me crazy for years, and I know we've all been thinking it, and somebody needed to say it. Honestly, Gavin probably has. I made a mistake one time of telling Gavin that I knew more about James Bond movies. Jeff than he is did. very knowledgeable about a lot of subjects, but he once tried to out Bond me, and he, I just crushed I him. I fucking I fell apart immediately. It was brutal. It was one of the biggest ass kickings I've ever had, and I've had quite a few. I do love <laughs> I I do love Bond. Um, when we were when we were doing the in between, as we were having quite a deep conversation um, in in uh, uh, at dinner. And it's very rare that we have a serious conversation. And um, someone said to me, "What's you know, what would be the, the best thing ever to happen to you? And I went, well, I, I, I really want to play James Bond when I'm older. Just got laughed at. <laughs> <laughs> Just got such a huge laugh. And one of them went, yeah, you can maybe play him if his face gets melted. <laughs> <laughs> How harsh is that? I was going, right, well, that's my actual dream <laughs> that I've had since I was like four years old. I think that is a great way to end this. I video. do like the idea of a Bond having your accent. I think that's I can put. I can change my accent. I do. Oh, I, I, I talk. Uh, I. I, I All adopt, right, go, be a I mate. adopt your accent more when I'm out in America, hmm. uh, so that people can understand me. If I say the word tomato out here, what is that? Just absolutely freaks people out. Yeah. But I thought that song was famous. You say tomato, I say tomato. Well, everyone knows it. It's yeah. Just nobody uses it. Also, well, water. If you say water in America, I say water. Yeah. I mean, I have definitely like started speaking slower since I've been there. Yeah. Well, anyway, well, that's uh, that's us done. So, cheers, James. For no, thank you on so this, much. Uh, video. Are you gonna tell people to go to my YouTube video? Yes. Yeah, completed it, mate. Isn't it? Uh, also, like, maybe put a warning on. Say, go to it if you want, uh, but it's not very good. <laughs> well, just put like a little, James, the, they're, if they're watching this video on our channel, their expectations are already very low. Good, brilliant, excellent. Because yeah. that's yeah. If you really keep your expectations low, you will get on really well with my channel because it's low grade stuff. Great, yeah. So go sub to uh, completed it, mate. If you like that, <laughs> good, good on you, Jeff. Any closing thoughts, Lawrence? Uh. uh I was just happy to hang out with Lawrence today. Yeah, we had a great time. Yeah. America, number one. <laughs> <laughs>